Okay guys, so today for you I have the Rat uh, Isulu. It's a uh, neck carry knife um, made by uh, Randall or ESS, ESEE -E Knives or formerly Rat Cutlery. As you can see here they've gone through some uh, name changes. Uh, this uh, knife is actually made in the U.S. Um, down in Alabama. Uh, and I know they do a like a survival training school and things like that. Um, but figured I'd show you the knife. Um, I've been wanting to purchase a rat knife for a while, uh, and finally decided to do so because the price was right. I found the um, the rat Zulu for thirty nine dollars, which is a good price. And then I also picked up the micarta handles for I believe it was fourteen dollars. So uh, I'll show you the knife. As you can see here, I just got the uh, knife and sheath. I didn't buy the. Uh, they also have a kit that comes with uh, like a fire steel and a few other things with it. So um, you can see here the quality of the sheath itself. Pretty high quality, and it really holds the knife really, really well. Um, I went for the Desert Tan model. It comes in uh, Desert Tan. OD green, black, and pink. So you can see the finish on this knife is knife is nice and thick. You can see it's actually textured. So well, this is the first time I've had the knife out. Like I said, I just literally opened it up. So. You guys are seeing it for the first time like I am. From what I've seen so far, uh, it looks really good. Uh, some jimping back here, not a really big deal. And I'm going to say that knife feels... Well, I can shave with it right out of the box. So, it's pretty impressive. Um, considering my last knife video you saw, um, Knife was really dull, but uh, that was a bench made, and this is a rat. The uh, weight of the knife is really good; it only weighs uh, two ounces by itself. Uh, total cutting uh, edge on this knife is uh, two and five eighths. Uh, the total blade length is uh, two point eight, uh, which is just a little bit bigger. Um, that's from the end of the handle. Uh, to the tip. Uh, the total blade length I'm sorry, no, I'm not thinking total blade length, that blade thickness is a uh, .156 and it's made out of uh, 1095 steel and uh, it is a flat grind it says on their website. That is a really nice finish on that knife. And we'll see here he also gave me a um, Randall training card. It's got uh, some ground air signals if you were to get lost. Uh, some tips. And you can see here there's another uh, laminated card. This is just like a paper one here. This is a laminated one to keep in your wallet. <clears throat> so then we'll take a look at the handle. Got another card. Oh, dropped it. I might not be able to get this apart right now, but um, I'll have to go get another one since it's uh, two sided. But I think the quality of this knife is very good. It actually makes me want to consider getting uh, another rat knife. You can see here they stamped the serial number on it. But really, really nice. Um, I'll get a video up once I get the uh, micarta handle on it. And you guys can see what that looks like. So, 
Um, really light. Like I said, they uh, say it, it to be a neck carry knife, which uh, that's what I was originally going to do, but I don't know. Might, um, since I'm putting the micarta handles on it and whatnot, might not neck carry it. Might actually uh, carry it more on my person, like maybe on my belt or something like that. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But really pleased with the blade quality, the sharpness, the uh, just the overall look and feel of the knife. It's really, really nice quality of knife. So, uh, if you guys are looking for a uh, carry knife like this, um, I know like the Becker Necker. Uh, and a couple other knives fall into the same category as this. I'm going to tell you that uh, I'm really impressed with the Rat Cutlery. Uh, so if you are thinking about getting one, I would highly consider this knife. So, hope you guys like the vid. Uh, like I said, I'll try to get one up with the micarta handle so you can see that. Uh, and that is it. Okay guys, uh, so now you can actually see I have the micarta handle installed on the Rat Azula. Uh, I think the color works really good with the uh, desert tan color may work a little bit better with the uh, olive drab but as you can see the thickness of the Azula is now greatly increased um, but it does give it a little more solid feel in your hand um, so if you want to uh, you can pick it up uh, it's in a little like I said probably about a fourteen fifteen dollar edition uh, to the Azula itself, which can be had for $39.99. Um, I believe I found this on uh, RockyNational.com. Uh, and uh, pretty good upgrade. I mean, my card has good quality uh, material. Uh, it's got these nice hex screws in it. Uh, the females on the one side, and then the males screw into it, and it clamps down real nice. There's only really one way to install these on the handle. Uh, itself, so you don't have to worry about getting them messed up. You know, one on the wrong side or whatever. It's only going to go in one way. So, just figured I'd show you that the uh, micarta handles for the Rat Azula. So uh, they also have a Rat Azula 2 that comes standard with the micarta handles. Uh, but I found it was actually cheaper to purchase the one and then to get the handles itself. Uh, and then I believe the Azula 2 actually has uh, one inch added onto the length of the knife. But I like the size of this knife. Uh, so I figure that's why I would get the Azula 1. So there you go. Hope you guys liked it. That's it.